right now? Well, it's very somber. And again, it should be because, you know, we, uh, as I said, <laughs> told them we snatched defeat out of the jaws of victory. And uh, I think, uh, you give them credit, they made the plays and offensively, they moved the ball, made some big plays on offense. And, and uh, I think there's, uh, that's kind of, kind of what happened. You know, again, they had to run the block, the block on special teams. But again, I think that's the thing. We had chances to win the football game. We didn't make the place to win it. Coach, how disappointed was it that the offense, you finally got going this game and you guys were still in the battle towards the end? Well, you know, it's just, it's, we knew it was going to be a battle. I mean, that we've won the last two by, I think, a touchdown or less. And so we knew it was going to be a battle. They won this by a touchdown, I guess. So, yeah, we knew it was going to be a battle. It just a matter of who made the plays and we had opportunities to make the plays, but, but, but they did. Did they do something different in the run game? Yeah, they did. They really did. They had some things that they, uh, the one, especially with the quarterback, they did some different. We hadn't seen, and obviously it hurt us. There's a few uh, also missed tackles that have been uncharacteristic of this defense. Definitely had some missed tackles. I, I think we did. I have to see the video, but yeah, I think there's no doubt we had some missed tackles. And, and uh, again, we've played better than that on defense, and we, we haven't missed tackles on defense. And, you know, you lose Drew. Uh, that was a big loss of that linebacker. We're, we're thinning it there anyway, and then without him, it's, he's a, certainly our best linebacker. Coach, what's the message to the team right now? You guys are eliminated from postseason play with this loss. What, what, what do you tell your guys? Well, I'm not going to tell them much. I tell you, we just got to come back and play, and and uh, I think, uh, and we will. I think the thing you, you just see is a uh, is a uh, it's a uh, it's going to be a real tough test. You know, a real tough test. We still have a chance to win some football games. I think we can do that. I hope we can. And uh, but again, it's, we've got to to do a lot better uh, than some things we did tonight. I was pleased, pleased with the quarterback. I thought Dalton played well. Had a lot of yardage on offense, had, a lot, had 31 first downs, and we gave ourselves a chance, but obviously we didn't, didn't get it done. Could you have a message to the fans that made the trip to what you did? Well, they, we had a, a great group of fans that made the trip. I, I appreciate that, really appreciate, appreciative of it. Uh, again, uh, I'm sure they came to see us win, and uh, again, uh, don't, don't give up on us. Hey, we've, we've got a lot, a lot of guys that are injured, and uh, we just got to, we've got to, to press on. Uh, just can you try and describe the mood in the locker room right now? Um, you know, that's a team that, you know, we came into this game, you know, fully confident we were going to play and, and beat and come out on top and finally turn this thing around. Um, credit to them. They made a lot of good plays tonight. Um, their quarterback especially did a lot of good things tonight. Um, not taking anything away from that. Um, we had a lot of missed tackles, a lot of things that we could have done better. Um, we just got to come back and keep working. What up? What were they doing in the run game? It seemed like they were having some success in that part of the offense. Um, they were running their quarterback a lot. Like I said, uh, he's he really was a good athlete. Um, he exposed us a little bit on those one-on-one -on -one tackles. Um, you know, myself included, I missed some plays that I should have made. Um, and so mainly that's what hurt us. It was just you know not keeping the quarterback in check. You guys feel like uh, finally got something good out of the offense, and uh, I mean here you are, kind of in a dogfight yeah, towards the end. How disappointing is that for you guys? Um, I mean, especially the way the season's gone, you know, it's just kind of like one of those things that just keeps adding up. But um, we just got to stay mentally strong, you know, uh, keep fighting, keep working, and, you know, come back and go to work next week. Do you feel like, um, you know, you guys are officially uh, eliminated from bowl contention? What's the rest of the season, the goals for you? Um, really, you know, just set the tone for next year. Um, this is my last season, and that's really all I can do now, um, you know, Lead these guys, help them, you know, learn, teach whatever I can to them. Just show them that, uh, you know, going to next season, you know, uh, you can you can still do anything you want next season. You know, just uh, really help these guys out, let them, you know, do as much as I can while I, while I'm still here. You have a message to the fans that make the trip. Um, you know, especially I'm from I'm from Dallas. You know, from Denton, about 10, 10 minutes away from here is where I grew up. So you know, it was awesome to see a bunch of guys travel down here to see us play. Um, that type of thing. So really appreciate that fan base. Uh, it's pretty down. I mean, I've, um, of course, we, uh, everybody coming in, we expected to win. Well, we expect to win every week. And uh, we played great tonight. Uh, or offensively, uh, defensively, played a hell of a game as well. I mean, just, it just wasn't meant to be. I mean, uh, they outplayed us. I mean, they came out with a, um, with a win tonight. I mean, give them all the credit. But uh, we just got to find a way to win. I think that's the main thing. I mean, we're moving the ball and we're doing good things. We just got to find a way to win. So. Uh, no, uh, I mean, not that they did anything that we weren't expecting. We knew what they were going to do. Uh, it was just executing um, earlier. I mean, uh, we started moving the ball great towards the second quarter. I mean, we just got to uh, start moving the ball earlier and finishing when we get in the red zone and uh, not uh, stupid mistakes. So. This is the craziest game you've, you've ever been a part of. I mean, there's a lot of back and forth in that second half. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a great game. It's, uh, that's why we play the game. I mean, that's what, that's what love the game is for. I mean, just to come out there and just battle and uh, compete. I mean, that's the main thing about it. But, um, of course, when you come down to that, you want to get the win at the end of the day. But, uh, like I said, they played a great game. Give them all the glory. Like, uh, out there on the field, just, uh, you know, as the game came to an end, you guys realized you were going to drop a tough one. What was kind of the emotions going through? Right. Um, toughest loss I've ever had in my life, for sure. Um, you know, being a senior, of course, this was what we wanted. We wanted to go to a bowl game. And, uh, well, of course, we wanted to win a conference championship, and that was still a possibility tonight, too. Um, but, you know, it just takes everything out of the equation now. It's just, you know, coming off the field after that last incomplete pass, um, you know, it was just a lot of emotions running through me. Uh, not, not good ones. <laughs> but um, it's just how it goes. Football is a, a tough sport. Um, but we still got four more games, and we've got to play for each other as, as seniors, and hopefully the, the younger guys will, will understand and play for us. Um, because, you know, this is a family. It's not just seniors by themselves. This is a family, and we got to show these younger guys how to finish off a season. So, what happened on the field? I guess did they do something different, or was there anything you guys weren't expecting early on? It seemed like the offense kind of struggled to get going. Uh, it wasn't necessarily that they did anything different. They were just playing pretty well. Um, they were playing playing us very well in the run game and the pass game. Um, you know, sometimes things don't click right away, but um, definitely in the second half, we, like you said, we kicked it off, and I mean, we did really well after that. We, we moved the ball really well all into the last drive, so um, a lot of positives to look off of, and you know, Dalton did a great job. We believe in him 100% and got four more with him, so. What do you, uh, how would you describe the mood in the locker room with everybody else? Uh, everybody's pretty down. It's, it's probably been, like, I think for everybody else, uh, one of the toughest losses they've probably gone through, and, so, and I know that some of the guys that are younger, they don't understand. Uh, because they're not seniors. It's not the last game that they're, or the last uh, season that they're ever going to play. Uh, but the seniors, I know that they understand what just happened. And, uh, you know, we had some guys that were pretty down, but we had, this is a tight team, and everybody sees those guys that are down and goes and picks them up, tells them they love them. So. What's the uh, message going forward, especially from the group of seniors to try and, uh, I guess, leave a legacy behind? Right, just finish strong. I mean, there's, as a roadrunner, we're never going to quit. And just, it's not going to happen, regardless of the situation. You know, we even at night we had things that were going our, weren't going our way. We never quit, but we've got four more, and um, you know we got to take it one game at a time, try to get as many wins as we can uh, for pride. Uh, as you know, at this point, it's, that's what it's for, because you can't necessarily have a conference championship, and you can't necessarily have a, well, for sure can't have a bowl game. Um, but just you know, we just got to tell these guys and preach to these younger guys that you just never quit regardless. I mean, yeah, the situation sucks and there's not much good that can't come out of it, but you can win four games and that's pretty big. So. You had a pretty loud group of fans there in the yes, corner. What would, you, what would you say to those? I love them. Thank you all for coming. It, it, it means a lot, honestly. It does mean a lot. You know, we felt like we had a home game almost. <laughs> we had a, almost as many UTSA fans as North Texas did. So, um, yeah, we, we definitely love you all and we appreciate you all coming. So.